Hi, this is John and Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. Today we're here at the Capulin Volcano National Monument in New Mexico. You can see the volcano behind me. It seems incredible and we want to see inside. We're here at the visitor center and you got to see this giant lava rock. So we're going to go inside and we're going to see what it's all about. Do we hike there? Do we walk there? Do we drive there? We don't know. So let's check it out and see what there is to do. options. One is to walk up and go to the rim of the volcano and walk around it. I think they said 1.3 miles or we can walk down and go into the crater itself. Or both. Or both. So I think we'll start by going down into the crater. So it was a very, very short walk. Yes, and it's paved, so that's nice. It is pretty steep, but it's cool to be down here and see all these lava rocks. So it erupted and then it ended up clogging the vent, right? That's right. So it's constipated. <laughs> <laughs> right? So if we zoom in, we can see people way up there. So what is, what's the plan? Well, I think we're gonna at least walk to the rim. I don't know if we'll do the whole mile around, but we're, we'll at least walk up there and see what the views are. So. Onward. Do you wanna go all the way around or is this views enough for you? That's a pretty good view. <laughs> it is pretty amazing. You can see so far. Look at that bird. So we could walk the entire perimeter. But it keeps going up and up and up and up until finally it goes back down over there. <laughs> so it's pretty high. Should we go at least up to there where we can look over the right edge? So Amy's trying to convince me to go all the way around. She's like, well, we're almost at the top anyway, and there's just a little bit extra, but I think her little bit extra, I think actually is a lot extra. And so if we don't make it TPF fans, we love you. And uh, just know that the view is just beautiful. Hopefully we make it. Wow. You can see almost all the way around. Maybe if we go a little higher, we'll actually see 360 degree views. What has possessed you? Well, the, the higher the, up you go, the cooler it gets. And so you're like, I just gotta see a little more. Yeah? Eva, come on. Look at this edge. Here, stand on the edge. Ready? Right here. Okay, get next to mom and smile, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> this might be one of those photos that they show in, uh, after they find our phone in like those survival TV shows. Here's the last known photo of Amy and Eva. 
you're gonna go all the way up. Don't run. Or, or run faster, I guess that's what it is. You're only carrying 60 pounds of weight. It's a lot. What is she doing? How can she do that? It's a lot easier. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's showing off. We have become a huge fan of roadside stops. We're between uh, Colorado and Texas here in New Mexico. And what you never know what you're going to find when you pull off. Down the way from Branson to Colorado Springs, we found the Oz Museum in Kansas. Yeah. That video will be out, or might, maybe it's already out. It probably is. <laughs> and now we found this national landmark in between Colorado Springs, and we're on our way to Oklahoma City. Yeah. Where we will be doing uh, Frontier City. We'll get a video from there, too. Wow, see, look at these views. I'm now so you tired. Know, you get the whole I'm so tired. <laughs> Eva's tired now. A lady at the uh, Welcome Center, she said it's quite the walk. She was right. You all will see in our Rocky Mountain National Park video that uh, we, we were on a one mile trail to Alberta Falls and it was a long, long walk. Oh, after looking at this lightning scarred bench, imagine what a bolt of lightning could do to you or your loved ones. Wow. Yeah, that one. Look. Whoa! Lightning struck this bench. So you would not want to be sitting there. Yeah. And it is rainy out. Yeah, and it makes me want to maybe head down a little bit faster. <laughs> but I don't sense any yeah, storms. I haven't seen any lightning or heard any thunder. <laughs> By the way, we lost yeah, two. Yeah, our children gave up and yep. are sitting on a bench near the bottom <laughs> and said, We'll wait here for you. Yeah, but we're going all the way around. Wow, but it is cool to be able to see all the way around. Like, there isn't anything except peaks and plains. Yeah. In every direction. Like There's no civilization. It's cool as heck. Yeah. It's like you can do tic tac toe with. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, you could right here. You could play tic tac toe if with you wanted rocks. to. You want to play real quick? Sure. Okay, get a rock. Like okay, you go. You're X. Where do you want to go? Okay, I'll be pedals. Uh, okay, I am. I'm gonna go right there. I'm O. Go, go there. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. Uh oh, my O's gonna blow away. Okay, you're gonna go right there. Okay, whoops. I'm gonna go right there. Uh, that's okay. I'll remember. Now, where do you want to go? You only have two sh two choices, either here or here. Uh, I can't win by. That's right. Oh, I can wait. I already I went, went there. there. Yep. So you have to go up there. I'll go there, and it's a cat's it's game. Tied. We tied. That's a great game, Eva. Why don't we think that way, Amy? She's always thinking games. <laughs> we could have put something like that in our escape rooms. How to escape the volcano? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at that. That is not a little, that is a lot. A lot high. This was only, uh, what, three miles off the highway. The, the visitor center, the welcome center, and then a couple miles up to this volcano. But do you know how to sound like a wolf, Eva? Yeah. How? Wow, out of all of us, she would be the one that survived. Would you quit running? <laughs> what if you have to save us? Then you'll have to have energy. You have to have more energy saved up. Southwest be beginning in the 1820s for 60 years. Traders, settlers, and soldiers traveled along the trail. The pass through lands combed by sea, 
what does that say? Several. Several Indian tribes. Yeah, quite the view. Yes. And look at that, there's just, boy, it feels lonely, doesn't it? I know, I'm like, do we have enough gas to get where we're going? <laughs> well, we were, we were down to 10 miles left in the tank until we finally found a gas station. So we already had one close call. Hey, this is easy. Now we're going down. Okay. This is so easy. This trail is easy. I feel the same way that I did the last two hikes in um, <laughs> Rocky Mountain National Park. No, this trail is easy for me. Alberta Falls was, oh no, it was downhill on the way to Alberta Falls. Up back was bad. But then Breit Bert, is that what it's called? Lake or something like that? Bertstadt. Some German sounding name. <laughs> it was all uphill. Oh my gosh, that was hard. Really but, th terrain but then the way up. downhill on the way back was great. Kind of what you prefer. Yes. And when you're really tired, you can go down. I'm not tired. And if you're really, really tired, you just lay down and you roll. So what do you think about this as a uh, short diversion on our 10 hour road trip? Well, it definitely gets us up and moving. And so I liked it. Yeah. Look at this cool tree. So way up here in the middle of nowhere in Lonely Town on the top of a dormant volcano, we have phone signal. We have phone signal. And Jet just called, wondering yeah, where we, we were. Yeah, we better signal than we had down there. Well, probably, because we're up, but. <laughs> we have better signal up here than we had in Colorado Springs. Springs. In the city, in the middle of the city, go figure. Now I can't imagine doing this in the New Mexico heat. What you got there, Eva? Um, Oop, let's see. I think that's a volcano. Yeah, it is. It's very, very light. And what's the rule? What's it called? You remember? Leave no trace. So that means you don't leave right. anything here and you don't take anything out. You don't leave nothing here? Right, no trash or anything. So take that back, and you can put it right back where you got it. Good job. I said that, and I remember that. Oh yeah, you remember the things mom, I just mom teaches you. That's great. I trusted you, I knew you'd yeah, I knew you'd do that. that's why I wanted to be homeschooled. Going down the mountain is a whole lot easier, and in fact, I can see our car, I can see the parking lot. No huffing, and also no puffing on the way down. I was trying to convince Eva to go back to the car the other direction, the way we came. She wasn't falling for it. Hey, what's the name of this park again? We forgot. <laughs> something volcano something. Once again, we here at TPF do our uh, research, huh? So uh, as we were getting ready for our closing, which we're moving into right now, we didn't know what this place was called. <laughs> we did at one point. <laughs> we, forgot. we forgot. So we hope you enjoyed following along at Capulin Volcano National Monument. What incredible views. Definitely worth a stop if you are headed anywhere between Colorado and... Well, well uh, honestly, going. Amy, not headed anywhere. Headed almost nowhere. Okay. Because <laughs> this is one specific middle of the nowhere stretch between Colorado or between New Mexico and Texas. Okay, let me start over. Nope, keep going. So, thank you for following along here at Capulin Volcano National Monument. We hope that you will stop here and check this out if you're ever in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico and find this. <laughs> yes, there it is. I think I think it's um, altitude sickness is what's happening <laughs> that, to us that right we'll now. We'll say that. Okay, unsafe travels, everyone. <laughs> oh my, we got to get back on the road.